Gamers, what's up? I'm Robo. I'm a future Grandmaster in the game of Risk, and this game should be the game where we finally rank up to the Master rank. So I am on the edge of my seat to see how this board shakes out. These are This game's going to be Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. It looks like we do have somebody botting out. That's very unfortunate. We had a full lobby of humans going into this one, um, but somebody bought it out. So, okay, we are in the third position. We will get into the rules and the players in just a moment. Let's see what these blizzards do to the board. So... Right off the bat, the noob corner up here is a two-point hold, so that's very nice. And I do have a one right there positioned to be able to do something about that noob corner, although white may think the same. Um, we'll see what white does here. That will influence what we do for sure. Okay, white doesn't take there. So potentially a bit of a noob corner game for Robo. Uh, another option that we have here is, look at this. So the Orient is uh basically oh, oh no it's not because of this territory right over here in georgia it's not a, it's not a two point hole or a one point hold that would be great hold on guys my turn's coming up real quick i need to decide i think oh dude do we go noob corner we're in the third position red can't go before us who can go before us white and purple and they won't see this they won't be able to roll it i do have to deal with a bot in my face though which sucks uh yeah, we're going to do it, man. We're going to become a master from the noob corner. No noob corner, no win. Let's go. By the way, thank you guys so much again for all the support on the channel. You guys have just been fantastic. Once again, I credit a lot of my success so far to you guys. The people that are leaving the comments, talking to me in the Discord. It's been fantastic. Now, before, before turn one begins, hold on. We need to write some stuff down. Okay, so why we can predict is West Africa... What, what, uh, it really just purple is all we can see, right? White, West, West Africa. White is playing like an experienced player because although like just doing that turn one might seem a little bit insane, they're moving quick and they're trying to gain. Oh wait, that's your cap right there. That is your cap in Georgia. Okay, so white is definitely in Georgia based on the amount of troops that they just came out with. Um... Invisible Medusa. We'll, we'll get into the players in just a moment, but trying to take a lot on turn one, I've seen a lot of very good players do that. I've seen grandmasters do that to just try to uh, get a bonus turn one and just expel and try to, you know, get territories. Um, okay, but we do know that purple is in uh, Hungary, so let's go ahead and write that down. So purple, Hungary, okay, and then white. So yeah, I'm just going to put in parentheses like. Russia, just so I remember the right side of the board. A lot of these moments when I need to reference the caps really quick, it's good to just have key uh, terminology in my notes. So we have a red bot. Um, let's go ahead and do our first turn and then we can continue. So I don't want the bot to be behind my cap. If you want to be in front of my cap, that's okay. Can I take this turn one? Perhaps, right? I need to go take a look-see back there. I don't think, ah, I think I do actually want to clear that out. What else is back there? White's back there. Okay. Uh, red can go after me, and then I'm going to do it. We're going to be very risky this game, guys. Look, it's the game when we become a master. It is make or break right now, folks. Only red can see my cap, which is why I'm doing that. Only red. Um, and the bot won't roll that. They're just going to spread out and maybe even hit that three for me. So that's the only reason why I did that. The white player is I don't even know if they got that bonus. Maybe they did. I don't know. I'm kind of in the middle of commentating and analyzing the board. My thoughts are kind of all over the place at the start of games, but I don't want the white player to be back there and get the bright idea that they can make a noob corner strat work. Um, so yeah, five on our cap is what it is. Um, we don't knock purple out. Oh, yikes. You didn't see my cap, so... Nice. Yeah, so you, you don't even go that way. That's fine. So let's, we don't have orange marked down. Let's mark down orange as a maybe in Central Europe for their cap. Orange, Central Europe. And we will see if they try to make a play under the noob corner. Maybe they're sitting right there to make a potential play. Um, now, if white wants to go for Russia, I have bad news for them because I'm going to go over here and hit that. Now, maybe white is going to think preemptively about that and use this one to potentially block that. So we shall see about that. I have a two there, which is a good launching point. Black is going to fortify where? Black's just going to take that bonus. Okay, people playing well, taking bonuses. Uh, black is still a question mark. Black. Question mark. White, purple, orange, black, red. Okay, what? I just missed that. 
White's going to try to prioritize that. Red is a question mark, but they are a bot. We don't see anybody in the top left. We don't see anything that says um, leader two. Is it possible that red's in Paris? Probably not, right? Surely somebody else can see the red cap and they're just taking their time and that's okay. If we could take the whole nuke corner, that would be fantastic. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Purple player doesn't invest anything up there, which is great. Maybe we can potentially look right here for a bonus as well. Although again, this bot, it's just going to be a super, super nuisance. Okay, I'm starting with eight. Let's be very smart about this. We need to make that at least an eight. We need to make this a three, and that's going to be a risky roll. And then we need to bump Y out of there. 89%, great. Okay, Y, you've got to go. Okay, you're a two, you're a three. You're going to try to lock that in here. I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this. I'm going to be, I'm going to be very friendly yeah. to the white player. And let's just see if they will hold that. And, and I'm just going to, you know, whatever. Uh, maybe potentially that's luring them into a false sense of security because I don't think I can allow that them to hold that for forever. And then let's move this out of the way. So we have a guaranteed way to take a card on that orange one. Um, depending on what on what happens with our next turn, if we need to put everything on our cap is what I mean. We have a guaranteed way to get a card with an 89% roll. Um... Red has that bonus now, I believe. Still, nobody taking that, that cap. Orange starting with 10. Maybe Orange has it? Orange, are you going to do anything about this noob corner? Oh my god. Okay, so... So you, you lost six. That's a six. Do you attack once more? No. There's a white three. Where do you fortify that, my friend? Okay, so we get to see another day with our bonus. So, and that, look at that, guys. So we have a plus five guaranteed, and we have the bot protecting us down here. Okay, maybe with the context of the bot being right here, maybe I buff up this two a little bit, or is that just a lost cause? Maybe that's just a lost cause. I don't want I don't want orange to get that if they already have. So they I'm assuming that yeah, they have Central Europe. That's what orange has. Um who how do I how do I get the noob corner and have orange leave me alone? Now it's possible orange has Rhine. And it's just foolish to even try to do anything about Scandinavia. Yep, you get rid of my two over there. White player starting with 14. Yeah, white, white just strikes me as a good player. Oh, let's go ahead and get into the rules and the players. 10 minutes in, my friends. Uh, Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals is what we're working with here. Um, 60 second turn timer. The AI set to expert if anybody bots, which somebody did. The cards are, yes, progressive. Bounce, blitz, dice. Anybody can play in this ranked game. Alliances are off. Fog of War on. Blizzard's on. And portals are off. That's how the rules shake out. Um... Look at the players. So the white player is Invisible Medusa from the Netherlands uh, in the first position. Second position is the pink player Shino from the United States of America. In the third position, we have the uh, the blue player Robo Future Grandmaster um, from the United States of America. In the fourth position, we have the red bot. It is Expert AI. And it was... Oh, I can't see who the player was before. I already forgot their name. Um, in the second class position, we have Christy from the United States of America. And in the final position, we have General Soma from the United States of America, the black player. Okay. That's how everything shakes out. Um, I think my next play is potentially to take this bonus and show some good faith to the orange player. Knock orange out of here. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So let's just make that a three to deter orange. And I'm just going to say thanks. Okay. We're going to make that a 10. That's a knockout. And then we put the rest right here. Pop, pop. 89. Nice. Should have done that the reverse way. 93. And then that's a 3, 3, 2. And then I'm going to bring that up here. Because I doubt that black breaks. And red probably would. And that's going to grant us another plus 4. So now we got a plus 9. 
I'm going to lose that too. That's okay. I'd like for the bot to start going down. We're going to orange even better. Yes! Okay, that changes things. Wait, that changes things. Orange loses... Yeah, orange loses their plus five. They have to prioritize this bot now instead of me, and then maybe I go in there and I clean that out. Do I want to make an enemy out of orange this early? Probably not. You're starting with nine. Okay, and now you see my cap? Okay. And then you move that down. Okay. I can work with you to clear out that bot. That's okay. Um, I really want to see Orange's cap. I really want to. I would really, really like to see Orange's cap. They're getting... So both of their bonuses, they just have Scandinavia and Central Europe. That's all they have. Yeah, that's all they have is Scandinavia, Central Europe, and their cap is right here. Okay, so then I knock Orange out right here. Pop, pop. Mm, okay. Hmm. Let's really think about this. Taking out this area down here seems really appetizing as well, because think about it, guys. We haven't seen anything going on down there. Nothing. So that could be a crispy little pocket for us. Yes, very crispy. What would that be? Plus eight, right? Plus six? Yeah. Hmm. I definitely wouldn't have cared about that area if I if I saw any movement, but there is no movement down there. So that's pretty appetizing for us. We go down on our three. We're going to get plus 10 here. Our cap is still totally fine. The sets are still really small. We don't have a set on three, but there's still, yeah, there's still baby sets. So I think that's what we do. And if we take that early enough, we clear out that pocket. That's going to help us a lot. Uh, the least amount of people that we can get behind us, the better. And then it kind of forces everyone to deal with each other, right? We have the whole left side of the board at that point. Yeah, that feels really nice. Okay, we don't want to see the purple player do anything down there. And what did you start with, sir? Started with nine. Somebody's got two caps. Who are we, who are we thinking right now? It's, it's white. Okay, so white's a plus 15, and we know white was over here. So we need to break their Russia bonus, the next opportunity that we have. You're going to go down there. Oh, you go up. Yes. Take a card and then what? Nice. You just get out and fortify that out, please. And thank you. Please, 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 please fortify that out. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there, but whatever. We'll see if you fortify down on that one. We'll see how that goes. Um, I am going to begin... Dealing with this down here. And then I go like that. Bring that up. Yes. Okay. No bonus for white down there. And now white and I don't really have to deal with each other, which is nice. And notice how my points ended up guarding right there. So my 10's still fine right here. And then I have a 4 and a 5. I, uh, I, I, don't, I don't think I want to move that 5 up into Italy. I'm not too worried about that, I don't think. That was a really good play out of us before the sets start coming in. That was a really good play. You're gonna try to get rid of the bot? That would be cool. I'm down with that. Although you would have your 10 stack pointing at me before you get a set off of that. It's a baby set though. I'm, I'm happy to work with the orange player to get rid of the bot. Here. I'm gonna, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can work together. We can work together on that. That's fine. I'm happy to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm going to say it back just so that way we, we know that we're on the same page. We know that we're on the same page. Let's get the bot out of here. Um, that's going to set me. I'm going to set kill bot set, which is nice. And then I can just kind of use that to position myself to be in a little bit of a better spot, I suppose. Nobody can come in through my back door, which is huge. Everybody's forced into fighting each other now. And uh, nobody's going to get that North Africa bonus either. I'm going to start with a lot of troops. So 
killing the bot should fall on me, like rightfully so. Um, you're gonna go down and break, and then I just knock purple out of that pocket entirely. Okay. Yep, I set, and now you're gonna you now you are gonna get knocked out of that pocket entirely. Uh yeah, so that's all going right into your face. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna kill the bot yet. Let's just make that a five. Let's make this a 17. And then bring our three. I'm going to demilitarize this border with orange. Uh, killing the bot there might have been a mistake. Okay, nice. So the bot doesn't set. Do you hit my five? That would be, that would suck. Oh, I forgot. Oh, okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, I kill the bot next turn for sure. Because now people are going to be forced into sets. Um, purple may hit me now. Try to knock me out of that. So we will see how that goes. Purple is starting with what? You're starting with nine and you're going to set. Hopefully you get a baby set. No, you don't get a baby set. You're just going to go for the bot kill and then set again. Yeah, you're going to get the bot kill, but no, you're not. Okay, so I get the bot kill. So that's actually great. It's great that I do get the bot kill. And if the bot's in any other position around the map, I'm, I'm still in a decent spot. Um, and then, so here's, I need to remember what my game plan is this next turn. I need to kill the bot and use that set to do, to get rid of whatever purple's about to do. Because purple's about to just go right into my back door. And so, we will see. I don't think that purple and I are going to be able to come to an understanding, especially after I just took back, you know, they've, they've shown that they don't want me to have that bonus. And then I hit them back. So they, they want to have the last word. They're definitely going to go into my six right here. Um, now I've demilitarized this border with, with orange, which is great. Um, and orange after their turn, notice they didn't put anything on their one over there either. So that's pretty awesome. I'm going to, I'm, I'm not me and orange. We can be friendly. I have another way into the center of the board right over here through Italy anyway. I have to imagine that with the bot being on five cards, this turn, if the bot is in any other positions, people will try to get rid of the bot. So let's see. Okay, so you're gonna go down with a 16. I'll be able to clean that up, no problem, with my bot kill. That's fine. Yep, make yourself weaker, please. Yep, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, that's fine. So if you, if you hit it one more time, hit that one. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, set, kill bot, set. Do I go up? Yeah. Need a four there. Yes, we do read that correctly. That I was like, oh man, if I don't read that, then I'm kind of screwed. Um, and then I get a, a juicy, juicy set to smack purple's face. Let's do it like this. And then I have a set next turn, purple. You need to leave me alone. That's what I'm telling purple. If purple doesn't have a set on three, then we are in uh, good shape. See what orange does with that 14. Orange and I are probably gonna have to come to an agreement for like a trading zone. And it's probably just gonna end up being right here in Western Europe. Now actually, what is purple starting with? Because remember, I... Purple starting with nine. Okay. So I'm going to hold on to this as a border. So that's a no-go zone. And then hold on to Italy as a border. And that's also a no-go zone. Sets are for 15. Purple could go 24 on that one. Oh no, well, black's going to trade right here. So yeah, so purple, if they set, 
this could just be a battle between me and the purple player until the end of time. And that would be unfortunate. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think. And meanwhile, white's just got two caps, right? Meanwhile, the white player is still just starting with 22. The good news is white and I are the bread in the sandwich. So that's the good news. Um, oh, is that a bot out right there? I think that's what that was. Yeah, that's a bot out. Black botted. Okay, I don't, I don't know where the black player is. Maybe I can go looking. I would, I would have to open up the purple player's cap to go looking. Right? Because purple, purple we said was in Hungary. Yeah, so purple's right there. I don't think I opened up the purple player's cap. Purple's in Hungary. I want to go and see what's up with the orange player's cap. But I don't think it's time yet. I don't think it's time for me to do that. Yeah, it's not time. Ah. Yeah, it's not time just yet. Do you set, Purple? Do you set? Okay, you don't set. That's great news for me. I set, starting with 26, commanding position on the board. We're going to make that a 10, just so that people know that that's a no-fly zone. I am going to make this much stronger. What are the sets again going forward? Okay, they're going to be up into the 30, 40s. Okay, purple, that is a no fly zone. And then we're going to bring this three over to here. Now purple sets and purple is going to be able to put what on that? Ugh, orange. I'm going to have to um, trade with you there though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a trading zone for us. That's a trading zone. And then I'll bring my three up and get this into the action soon. If purple wants to hit my 10, that's fine. But I just want purple to see that this is a losing battle. I don't have a set on three. So things are going to start heating up here real quick. Maybe, maybe I just remove this 10 and stop trying to hold this bonus at this point in the game. The plus four. Not, not that the 10 was there to, to hold the bonus. It was just to say no to purple. I want purple to have to hit anyone else. Like, I'm imagining, here's what I'm imagining on the board, right? This is all of white. It has to be. We, we saw that white had Russia, right? That's what we said. We said white was Georgia. Yeah, we said white was Georgia. That was our best guess. Um, so white has all of the Orient. I really hope they don't have this position up here. Uh, maybe, I smack, maybe I smack them out of that position. That would be great. But then orange doesn't appreciate that because white has to go into orange. To get that bonus back. White's essentially in our back door, which is really frustrating. Let's see what purple does here. The sets would be for 30. You can't break that no matter what you do. And I'm not going to open up your cap because I remember that it's right there. Because I took notes, ladies and gentlemen. All right, purple, what do you do? You do Norton. You'll do absolutely Norton. Okie dokie, so that is going to continue to be our trading zone. All the rest goes on our cap. I hope that orange can see that I have to trade a card somewhere and I don't want to mess up with, you know, I don't, I don't want to mess up their bonuses anywhere else. So hopefully they're willing to trade there with me as well. This is good. Orange player showing, so yeah, see, like, a novice, like, would see that I break any bonus and not understand the value of, yeah, I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna say thanks. Oh, wait, well, hold on, are you saying thanks because you want to hold that? 
Ugh, see, Orange, I, I have nowhere else to get a card, my friend, unless you want me to get a card back here. I don't have a set. Sets are for 30. Okay, here's what I do then. Here's what I do. I bring my 10 out, and me and Orange can trade right there, because Orange is starting with what? You're starting with 14 compared to my 30, so here, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a card right there and tell Orange to trade here instead. Yeah, I like that a little bit more. Yeah, that's better. Okay, you kill Black. And that's a good kill before the sets get too crazy into the 50 pluses where crazy kills start popping off. Um, white player does what? Purple is the next weakest. Yeah, it's purple. Purple's the next weakest. So purple has to deal with the white player right here. And previously the purple player was forced into... Does purple just smack me? Purple, what do you do here? Roll call, by the way. You're still here. You're still here. You get 35. That's not enough. Not enough. You got to take a card somewhere else. Okay, so our attempt to strong arm the purple player, so to say, kind of worked, I guess, which is good. It's, it's fortunate to be on the other side of that. I've been on the not so good side of that many times, and it does not feel good. Purple player can potentially set again soon. So we're going to make that 45, put the rest on our cap, take a card right here, and then I'm going to signal to the orange player to trade right there. So orange player, trade right here. And then after they do that, okay, yeah, so do that. I hope they take, take, open me up. Yeah, do that. No, you don't do that. Okay. Darn it. Okay, so then I'm going to take here and then see if they... Hmm. I can, go, I can always go up and around, so it's okay. That stack is still useful. And 18 will always be enough to deal with this right here whenever it comes time to actually end the orange player's game. I actually do go looking at the purple player's cap if they don't set here. You set for 37 recently, though. And you didn't put anything here, so minimum on your cap. I don't have enough. Yeah, I don't have enough. So then we just beef our cap. That's the most that we can do with the sets being now 50 plus. That's the best we can do. And you now have three caps. So hold on. You have three. So we know orange has a cap. You have a cap. And then there's just three other that the, that the white player has. Okay. White player's got three caps. I need to go looking. I need to go looking now. I'm going to set. And we are going to go looking. Um, oh, okay. So I have to go down and around. So... Okay, thank you for opening me. Thank you. Thank you, 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 thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I just wanted to look, and I do have back-to-back -back sets on three. What does the purple player do? They're going to have... They're going to be able to put like 60 on that. I go looking from this way. Oh, but it just sucks that I'm going to have to open up their cap to go looking anywhere. Oh, yeah. I, I am always destined to open up the purple player's cap. Always. The bonuses don't mean anything anymore. 
So I'm done. I'm done guarding these. If somebody comes down and breaks, I'm not going to take it anymore. I just like having. I just like having the board. I go looking. Hmm. So that's one of your caps. Okay, so I took a little bit longer there, right? I wasn't sorry for not commentating as I was doing that. I was just sitting in silence. But what I was doing there was I was taking extra time just so that the, just to get the other players thinking, right? And I opened up a pathway for purple, right? So weird. Why would the orange player do that? Really weird behavior. Uh, I don't really want to Oh, you don't have anywhere else to take a card? I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Why not just take a card into purple, though? Are you going to start leaving weird stacks? So the white player is not as skilled as I thought. They're just, like, leaving weird stacks? Wow. I'm not going to emote at that. I don't want people to, to get any bright ideas at what may have happened right there, but the purple player may take an opportunity to smack me now and to try to go first and second with the white player, and I don't have a set to really respond, so um, this is weird. Orange breaks me, white player just does that for, for like, why, you know? Um, weird. And then now this, the purple player may actually just hit my 35 and break me. Which would be really bad. Okay, nice. Purple player is going to be defensive. That's 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 good. Um, I need to give the orange player a place to take a card. So here's what we're going to do. That doesn't connect, I don't think. We're going to do that. And then you, sir, can take a card right here. Take a card right there. I'm happy to trade there. We can trade there all day, every day. Yes, and I'm going to signal that that's where I want us to trade. Yeah. Yes, trade right there. Yeah. Okay, that's good. I like no you don't put a you don't put a nine oh my god okay now the orange player oh okay so now we move from holding our 18 here to, to holding it on that one which maybe we should have from the beginning who knows but um oh gosh guys okay I need to really think about how to do this to where I don't become everyone's enemy at the same time White player came through and just hit me for no reason. Oh, white player. Oh my goodness gracious. White player is just bananas. And they're going to have a big, juicy set soon. It's a 70 set. I think I just... Oh god, guys. Oh my god. White player's doing that every single turn. Oh, you're going to have a 70. Yeah. That's a little bit better. Having that having that as like a guard made no sense anyway because you could just break it on that three, so I should have done that a while ago, but you live and you learn, and then I don't give the orange player a way to take a card. We can trade up there though, I guess. Whatever, dude.
Dude, orange. I want to trade down here. This, this, I'm scratching, uh, you guys, I'm scratching my head real bad right now at the orange player. Um, what am I losing? Okay, well, first of all, I don't have a set, and then I'm just losing a plus three. Whatever, dude. Whatever. You get 75. Two hundred. Nice. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do it like this. Leave that. I don't want to make an enemy out of orange. I really don't. I want to trade right in here. So let's do it like this. White's going to set and punch me in the face like an idiot. So let's just do that. And I'm telling the orange player that I want to trade over here. And then I never close off my 97 ever again. Because that's my, that's my launching point. I do have a set and it's an 80. So I'll be able to reply and respond to whatever anybody wants to do. Okay, I definitely punch this 11 up here and set more troops on it. And then I need to make sure that I always, always give the orange player a card over here. Always. That's something we will do from now on. Um, let's see. Yeah, you stopped. Okay, good. White starting with 41, and I am starting with 23. Purple starting with 5, they're in their last position. Orange is starting with 15. You take a card right there. Interesting. Eighty. Does somebody have to deal with this white player? Who is gonna deal with it? And then take a card over there. You're not allowed to take cards up there. Orange, I'm not breaking any of your bonuses, right? None of them. I've been, I, I feel like I've been very friendly to the orange player. Like, I feel like I've been so friendly. You leave a 22? Okay, well, I'm fine with that, I guess. Like, what? So the orange just wants to block me from getting bonuses. So that's what I've gathered with this weird back and forth. That's what I've gathered, is it's board police that the orange player is trying to do. But I gave up on that bonus. Like, I'm not even worried about that bonus, so it's fine. Whatever. But that's just unfortunate that we're seeing the orange player not be friendly towards us. Sets are for 90. Yeah, sets are for 90. Purple player does what? Three hundred? Where does that go? Purple player is ready for things to pop off, um, which I totally respect. So let's just do it like this. You have a 22, I have a 22. 
and then we keep our cap healthy because that's really the launching board out, right? Yes, give me a place to take a card, back that out, and then you can board police all you want, sir. That's totally fine. Okay, and you also would like to have a launching board. Interesting. Really curious to hear from you guys how you would have gone about, like, managing this relationship with the players, because... The white player, I went and broke the white player's bonus just going looking. Like, I feel like if I was the white player in that position, I would have been like, oh, they're just like going looking, right? But the white player went and blew a couple stacks into me. Like, what? It's just so weird. It was such a weird thing to do. I do have a set and I have a hundred. Okay, I was going to say, if the white player hits that, that changes things. It changes how I go about the game for sure, but they didn't. So I think it is time for me to get this 100 out of here and go put it on my big stack over here and begin making a play over to the orange player. Because if this 100 gets hit, that's going to be kind of detrimental and the stacks that are flying around are really, really big now, so... Yeah, I think I fortify that out and around and just leave like a 20 right there. Yeah. 100. Nah, I'm, I'm fine still. If I lose 100, it's not like the end of the world. I do really want to go looking though. I do. Um, I am going to just do it like this. Oh, I really want to go looking. My cap, my cap's at 400. So, and I mean, having this 100 here, what am I gaining per turn? I'm gaining 26 per turn. So in four, tr in four turns, I've made that 100 back. So I'm just going to let that sit as a 100. Let it sit. It's fine. If I lose it, it's okay. And white is gaining 41 per turn. Someone's got to do something about the white player. And... Oof. Gosh. I don't even know where I don't even know where two of the caps are. So that's a cap right down here, I think. Or maybe maybe the white players just planted troops there to be there for if anything pops off. Hmm. Someone's going to have to make a move. I, I, I may do it. I might do it. If this video ends up on YouTube, it ends up being a banger. There ends up being some shenanigans, but... Oh, I just don't know. Oh, the purple player hitting a hundred stack right there would be so bad. Um, but I would just retaliate down. So that's whatever, I suppose. If somebody decides that I can't have those bonuses anymore, I just let it go. I just let it go. It's fine. Okay, that's 105. What do you do with it? Okay, orange player still being friendly. Their cap just got stronger by about a hundred. White player still hasn't even seen my cap. Orange player still working on a 50 stack right there. Uh, you can, you can have a 50 stack. I don't mind. I really don't mind. Sats are for 110. At what point does having a hundred stack there not benefit me? When it goes, that's when the action pops off and then I have a big 400 stack that can respond. Hmm. Gosh, I don't know. 
I really don't want the white player holding this bonus up here. So... Where does this game go, guys? I don't know. I feel like the sets are going to get to a point where somebody makes a move and it may be the white player taking a swing at me. So we shall see. Orange player getting 14. Orange player's in a losing position in like a quadruple sandwich, so maybe that's why they felt the need to play board police. White player is doubling my production, but they have more caps to monitor and upkeep. Um, purple player is just sitting on their stack. So, and the purple player has not been favorable to us. We're in a tough spot, guys, because the white player's not been favorable to us. The orange player is playing board police, which them having that level of skill is concerning. And so, yeah, gosh, how do we make it happen? Orange going into orange going into purple or vice versa, I think, is the best way for this game to proceed. We do have a set. The hundred bomb. Yeah. Keeping our diet, we're, we're keeping our options open here for our cap. Okay, 115. Where does it go? You just take a card. And then put it on your cap. You're going to take a card on this one. And then you go all the way back to your, yep, and then the rest of it went on your cap. So the orange player, or the purple player, very passive. We're playing for the win, folks. We're playing for the win. If we go for a kill... We throw our game away. We need to go for the win here. This is our game where we rank up to master, so I'm taking it very, very seriously. So let's see. When do things start popping off? You just set a 47 there. So, okay, orange player is telling the purple player to take a card on white, which I like. As it's forcing tension between the purple player and the white player. That's well played. I really don't like that I only know that the white has a that the white player has a cap in Georgia. You have a cap over here. Need to just go around the board looking. So I know here, 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 here. We're missing two caps. Four hundred stack. Gosh, to go around the board though, it means that white is just gonna freaking suicide into me. Okay, orange has a bit of a guard over there with me. 
I, I like that play out of the orange player because they're just kind of forcing white and purple to deal with each other. It's nice. And anytime purple takes a card, they're doing it like right here. So we'll be able to see if something pops off. Which is awesome. If the white player is a good player, they'll see that I'm holding a majority of the board. And so maybe they go for orange after me or something. Yep, you and me, Orange, we can trade here all day long. We will be traders in Western Europe. Western European traders. That's how you become a master, folks. Be a Western European trader. Set on three with a wild card. I think I might hold on to that wild card, to be honest. Save it for a rainy day. So yeah, we don't take the set. And we always hold on to the wild card from this point forward, I think. Yeah. That's definitely, 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 definitely what we do. Definitely what we do. We will need that. Oh my god. Okay. Well, that's fine. Now I'm going to leave it open. White wants the whole board? You can have it, sir. You want the whole board? Okie dokie. I'm not going to take that back. It's a losing position between me and the white player. So, And then you want to bring everything down. That's okay. I'm not going to open that up. Totally okay. Fine by me. You can have every bonus in the world. Me attacking the white player is not how I win this game anyway. If the white player and I go to war, whatever, dude. That's, that's essentially how I would lose, right? So I need somebody to attack somebody else first. If you would like to remove all my bonuses, feel free. Yeah, feel free. Or maybe the white player just wanted this bonus and I can work with them on that. We will see. I'll see if I can maybe... Let, let me try one time to fist bump with the white player and see, see if they are willing to work with me. Oh, purple's just going looking just to see. Yeah, there's no there's no other white up there. You just purple just wants to go all the way around and see. Yeah. Purple doesn't get it on their cap. That's kind of funny. Um, I don't yoink that cap. I just take a card pass. I take a card pass. Whoever takes purple's cap becomes enemy number one. I need my stack to be big for what happens next. And that's the only reason why I traded was because things are popping off here. So I need a big, big stack. So that's it for 140. Oh my gosh, if orange took purple's cap, that would be bananas. See, purple and white don't know how big my stack is, so if they want to go looking, it is what it is. Once they see my stack is that big, I might just go take it back. I might take all that that uh territory back. They're just curious, and, and also, they don't know what's to the left side of the board either. So they need to gain that information as well. So, let's see. Maybe they continue going looking. Things are popping off now, I think. And purple's going to set and put it all in their stack. And they're going to go right back. They're going to probably go looking first and be like, oh, okay, here's, here's blue stack. And then they're going to go over and, um, yeah, try to just get their cat back. And then, and then white goes. And then I look at what happened. Yep. So I think a big part of like winning these games is knowing when to reel back a little bit, right? So the white player is insisting on looking, insisting, insisting, insisting. I let it go. And then eventually something's going to happen where I'm not the enemy of the state number one anymore. So 
Purple's gonna look to take these bonuses. That is rather interesting. Okay, so this late in the game, I don't care about bonuses at all. Definitely, definitely don't care. Oh my goodness, the purple player is not the most skilled. Wow. Okay, purple player not the most skilled in the world? I want to go look at that. What happened over there? Uh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. White has a bunch of stacks off their capitals or something weird. White is just bananas. Okay, I need everyone else to fight. That has got to happen. I'm really curious. Did the purple player just bot after that? No, they didn't. I want them to go and see what happened. So I have one. Orange has two. White has three. So basically, whenever the purple player... Whenever the sets are worth killing the purple player, that's when that's going to happen. But that's probably not going to happen for a while. Purple's going to have to suicide into somebody, and I think it would be orange. Yeah, I think it would be orange in that case. Yeah, okay, do your thing, Purple. Whatever, man. Whatever you got to do in progressive, you do it. Um, hmm. I'm kind of in a tough spot now for cards. Hmm. I need orange to give me a card. I need something to happen. I'm I'm gonna become I'm gonna end up in a tough spot for cards here. Oh wait, that was a okay, never mind. Ooh, wait a second. I, I still I still have a bunch of cards that I can take. Okay, white player does what? So, people were worried about the blue player. I let you guys take my territory. Now what? You know what I mean? I'm off in a corner. Okay. I'm okay if you hit that. Oh, never mind. I want the white player to see my territory. So I did come up through the back door over there, so that tells me that they did have that bonus, so I think I go in there. Do I want to go in there and clear that out, or do I just want the orange player to go in there and clear that out? What are you, what are you going to do with this 155, purple? Gosh, the purple player is so weird. I don't have a set... And you're just going to guard your bonus. Wow. What am I watching? I mean, what in the world am I watching, guys? Okay, we have a set. Is orange trying to work in like a card block? This is so weird. Yeah, give me a card. Thank you. Wow. 
What? Dude, I am so confused what's going on with these guys. Like, are they working together or something? Like, this is just so strange. White still hasn't seen my cap. You fortify that where? You can break my bonuses all you would like. At this point, it's weird that the purple player and the white player haven't seen my card, or haven't seen my stack, and they're still positioning their stacks almost like to card block me with orange. Did the purple player ever see my cap? Wait, is that a bot? No? Okay, you finally see my cap. It's an 800. Okay, so I'm going to leave that open for business. Uh, I think I'm going to... I'm going to not trade that in just yet. I want to see how this next turn goes. Actually, yeah, I am going to set. Um, right? No. Oh, gosh, this is this is very important. I don't want the white player to go into me, so that's not the play. Gosh, I need to, uh, dude, I don't know why. The players are just treating me like I'm the biggest threat. And I don't know, that is just so weird. It's so, so weird because, and what I mean is the white and the purple player hadn't seen my stack. They don't, see, they haven't seen my cap. And yet they were still doing that. And then also it was weird that the orange player took the purple player's cap and purple never went looking ever. Purple never went to go look at their cap to see what happened. Instead, they worked on a card block on me. Like, what? Please, please, guys, in the comments, let me know what you think that was. Because that was very strange behavior. I'm, I'm remembering. I'm looking back at that. And you don't open my cap, do you? You do. You op Okay, so now this is the first time why to see my cap. Yes, okay, so that tells me, that tells me that maybe there wasn't teaming going on. Yes, so go for somebody else, go for somebody else. So that's good, that was a good sign, that was good, I'm glad that I saw that. Yeah, that was good. I'm glad that white sees I have a thousand. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this is a game when we hit master. So I'm in it for the long haul. I have time today. And these players are playing very strange. So yeah, I'm going to take my sweet time. One of them's got to go into somebody else. That's what it comes down to. Purple's got a stack of 687 guarding a bonus, which is just mind-boggling to me. I have a way to take cards, and I have a set. Hmm. Uh, 
Okay, 170. I have no way to get out unless I go through that purple 97. White's just starting with 53 every turn, like, geez. White is going to have so much material. Oh, I need purple to do something, man. Purple, you're out of this game. Just do something. Just do something, purple. Thank you. Orange had a stack there, I think. Maybe not. Continue attacking? Yes. 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 How much do you bring back? You push it out. Okay. I go from here and then I go looking. Okay, so there's one down there. I need to remember that. There's potentially two down there. Potentially two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Istanbul. White is Russia. Istanbul. Okay, all of White's caps have like just a couple hundred troops. I could kill Orange right now, I think. Mm, no, I can't. Only player I could probably kill right now is Purple or White because White is just so fragmented that I actually wouldn't lose as many troops going for like a 200 cap. Do you know what I mean? So I'm still missing another cap. Still missing another cap. It's probably just down here in the Orient. Probably just down here. Because I went looking all the way up here and didn't see another one. So they're both, there's two down here in the Orient, probably. But I can't be the first one to make a move. Um, White's doing a lot of attacking right now. Onto what? I guess Orange and White are going off over here on each other? Now, purple has moved out of my way over here, so only purple would see me clearing out this bottom section. Maybe I just do that real quick. Or no, 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 no. I'm going to give purple another turn to figure out what they want to do here, and then I take it. My, my, uh, my big stack is cut off up here, which is kind of annoying. So then I, I actually do need to, I do need to go down here and take it, um, because we'll see what purple wants to do right here. And then, yeah, because I need somebody to open up my big stack again. So where do you go? Where do you go, purple? You just do it? Do you just do it? Do it, purple. Yes! Okay. Okay, and I'm reacting... Which is going to signal, hopefully, a psychological reaction in the white player to be like, what? That's messed up. Let me go do something about that. Okay, perfect. And then purple is just going to clear out that whole area down there. Okay. I'm going to take this opportunity. And then you have you now have a cap with seven hundo. Okay, so now, now the white player is mad at purple, right? So this is a good opportunity for me to do this. Okay, so white has a troop over there. And then you have 50 right there. Okay.
Okay, let's see what the white player wants to do about that. They have to deal with the purple player taking their cap and me taking that territory back. Orange player goes looking. Ooh, and they lose 40 on that. Wait, hold on. Is that a cap? Wait, that might be a cap. Question mark. Es Estonia. Oh, no. You know what? It could have been here. Estonia and Latvia. Question mark. 40 could, could just mean that white had one of their weird stacks over there. So, whatever. But I think that the white player has other issues on their hands, right? They need to deal with the orange player and the purple player right now. Right. You only you come back with half the troops that you started with. What does white do here? You can't deal with purple me and orange at the same time. So what do you do? What do you prioritize? Really? You prioritize me? No, you don't. Okay, you prioritize the orange player. Wow. Okay. I think what I do now is I knock the white player out from behind me. I knock the white player out from behind me to where the white player has to deal with purple and orange. Yes. Yeah. Hit the white 50? Really? Okay, nice. You hit the white 50. Perfect. I'm going to keep a kill guard on white back here. Yeah, I keep a kill guard on white for sure. Okay, yeah. Keep a kill guard on white. I clear, I clear white out of everywhere other than right here. How many am I going to... I'm, I'm going to start with a good amount to clear out that 15... You bring it back in time. I don't think you got that back in time. Wow. And then I go pop, 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 pop. Yeah. And then I keep 50 back there. Okay, that 236, I couldn't have foreseen that happening. I would have really liked to lock white back there. You're gonna set, are you gonna deal with that 200? I feel like having that white kill guard will pay dividends. Hit the 200, hit the 200. White doesn't have a trade, so they can't do anything with that three. If you hit the 200, that would be huge. No, you don't. White sends that 200 into me, probably. Leader still has three. You're just going to send that 200 where... No, you're going to leave the 200 alone. It's 50. You're just going to... Okay, nice. So you're going to deal with the purple player as a priority? Okay. And then you're going to just come back and maybe slam into me. White player can't fight us all. Okay, so that's now a 150. And I think I'm going to go through here and clear that out. Uh, you don't open up my cap, do you though? No, you don't open up my cap, that's fine. I break all that.
Hmm. I have a wild card set. I don't think I do anything just yet. Okay, purple's dealing with white over there. Leader still has three, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, whatever, dude. I'm just gonna get rid of white. I don't care. I want to progress the game along, you know? What does the white player do? On, on the next set, I'll get rid of the white player. 200. Oof. If the white player would open up my cap, that would be amazing. It would encourage me to do something about the other players as well. At a certain point, somebody's going to weaken themselves a lot to take a kill. Okay. Hit that, please. Hit that, please. And then I force the white player over here. And then I actually think that I want to guard right here so I can see more of the board. I really want to keep a kill guard on white, but I think if white, white keeps wanting to go into my stacks. So I think that if I leave them in my back pocket, that it will not pay off for me. Sixty nine. Much and you're starting with eleven now. Perfect. Okay, so the white player has to take a card on my one and open up my stack, which is amazing. Oh, what? Weird. You're just gonna go looking? You just wanna see. Gosh, everybody's turning on me? Like, everyone? Why? Oh, it's just because at this point in the game, I'm now starting with the most troops. You guys, it's freaking progressive. Who cares? Okay, whatever, man. Okay, so only orange is down there. Oh. How could I have worked better with these players? That's the feedback that I need. How could I have worked better to make something happen? Obviously, I grew really big. I held a lot of territories. But white did too. Okay, nice. Nice. I think I'm going to punch white out from behind me now. And I completely get rid of them from behind me as well. And if they want to go into my 69, then whatever. But I would like to push white into the corner. And actually, I'm going to take out this one right here as well. I don't want them to have a free card anywhere. Uh, see, but, but purple's doing a lot of attacking. I'm going to open up you, and I'm going to sit there. Nice. 
No. Okay, White's been completely knocked out of there. And they are blocked between a 315, 449, 73. Um, they can't set. And they're only getting 11 troops. So, they're going to have to get a card somewhere else. Nice. Okay. Nice. Okay, so I think that the white player... I think that their days are numbered, and I think that we go and we go looking at their cap over here. White player should probably come out, and then we can get a better idea. Do we have a set? Maybe we take the white player kill. Don't have a set. Sets are big, though. They're really, really big. Um, our cap is opened up only to the orange player. I need the orange player to remove me. Oh, white really doesn't like me. White really does not like me. Oh, God. White's totally going to go into me. So frustrating. I don't have a set. So I am just going to be patient and take a card down here with the orange player. Yeah, I'm just going to take a card, like right here. The sets are for what? 200? My 73 is toast. My 73 is toast. So then let's do this. Four. Put everything right here. And, oh god, I can't, I can't bring my 73 out. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. I need the white player to not set. See, but I'm, I'm also forcing purple to go through my 73 if they want to make a play on the white player. Okay, if you want to hold that, I will let you hold that. Yeah. I have a juicy set. Or so these players want to hold bonuses, whatever, dude. If that is what's going to help us work together, okay. I don't know what else to tell you. Um, what does white want to do here? So this is the purple player's final position. So they're kind of just removing themselves from the equation. Purple gets 200. Maybe my 73 gets toasted. I really should have moved that out of the way in hindsight to like right here. It blocks the same way. Since white has a... Because initially I was just like, let's just card block white. Um, but I, I saw after I moved it that the players had left other... Oh, wait, hold on. White put that... Or, or purple put that somewhere where I can't even see it. Purple's over here. Trying to deal with white. Interesting. Ooh, that's spicy. I think... I need to go... Looking, potentially. Uh, I'm going to fortify this probably back to like, no, I don't want to give orange the wrong idea. Hmm. Gosh, where do I put this? Oh, I have no idea where to put this. No idea. a 300 stack floater ready for action so where dude so the white player got forced back here let's see if the white player takes a card i may go and try to try to sneak that 
Purple player's trying to keep a kill guard on white. And there's, a, there's a, another cap down here. I'm in a position where after the orange player goes, I'll be able to see whatever the white player has up their sleeves. Maybe they break through. Hmm. Okay, white, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? I can see anything. I can see what happens. You're just gonna take a card. Wait. You can't do anything, so this is your final position. Do you set and get him? I think, yeah, you do. Wow. I'm gonna say well played. Wow. Very, very well done. Very well done. Okay, and then you leave a 300 down on that cap. Okie dokie. So then here's what I do now. I'm gonna vacate the premise with my... So you now killed white. 300, 500, and it's like some other, something else. You want to go see at my cap, what my cap has? Hmm. What do I do now? I think I just keep this stack as a floater that can do whatever I need it to do. Sets her for 200. Let's make that 800. And then let's just kind of block that off. And then... I'm just going to leave these in the far reaches of the corners. That's fine. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to go use the restroom. I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, I'm back. So here's here's where my thoughts are at now. Both the purple player and the orange player have shown to dislike when somebody holds a large part of the board. So I'm just going to let them deal with each other, man, and let that hatred grow because it's progressive and I don't care. And the sets are for 200 now, right? 200 plus. So, dude, if you want to get 50 troops a turn from holding the whole board, I don't care. Okay, um, I do set for sure, for sure, and I think I would like to go looking. Hmm. Yeah. I missed what happened right there, but it, it couldn't have been much. Oh, wait, hold on. I've got that all wrong. Unless they're fighting each other down here? Did something happen over here while I was away? No, that's what it is. They're just fighting over there. Whatever. They're fighting over who can hold the board. Spoiler alert, I don't care. I'm over holding the board. 
I do not care. Um, holding the board board served its purpose for me. And now I'm just kind of over it, so. One thing's for sure, I need to leave this cap open now from now on. So if I do want to hold any of the board, it's going to have to be down here and up here. That's how we do that, I think. Okay. I think I'm going to routinely open up. I think I will begin routinely opening up the purple player's cap. Oh, wait, but you're not able to go around if you wanted to actually do something with that, so... And the orange player just wants to keep, like... Ugh, uh, so weird. So weird, dude. So weird. Okay, orange player wants to hold the whole board at whatever cost. At whatever it, you know, whatever it takes. Which is just insane. And like they hit me and they play board police and then ah uh, dude, I don't know. They just wanna they just wanna have their cake and eat it too. That's the type of player they are. I'm I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm not predicting either of these players to be super high rank. Obviously, I could play this way different as well, but like uh, I don't know, man. Mm, okay. Okay. Ugh. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go looking. I need to go looking down there. Okay, so that time I let the 300 stack out. Hmm. You set and come out with that. I'm going to routinely make sure that they can have their stack opened. Or maybe it's just going to backfire, and because maybe they're lower skilled, they just see that as me breaking their bonus, even though the sets are for like 200 plus. Ugh, goodness, goodness, goodness. What a mess, guys. What a mess. What a mess. I need my stack to be a thousand. Just in case anybody comes looking. Okay, and then where do I want to take a card? Okay, so orange sees that I have a thousand stack and a six twenty six. Um, gosh. Orange wants to have every bonus. Okay, man, you got it. You got it. You can have every bonus. Is there a way I could card block orange? Let me think about this. You're in Hungary. It's like right in here. It's like Prussia or something weird.
So one, two. Oh, you know who I could card block is purple. Purple is an easy card block, actually. No, because purple connects to these two. Yeah, purple's not a super easy card block, actually. They're going to have a set before me. They're leaving their stack open. Gosh, Orange, what are you doing? Okay, let's think about how we could maybe card block the purple player and advance the game by trading with Orange. So after the purple player sets, the next time they set, I need to move my 600 over here to this 440. Right? Or am I just ensuring that I get second place by doing this? Because the purple player, purple player will obviously feel the need to hit me. How does this cookie crumble without alliances on? Hmm. How? Yeah, you're going to keep attacking? Okay, so they're going to fight each other. I'm going to let that go for another turn. And see if the orange player can build some tension against the purple player. And uh, I'm going to open up both of the orange player's stacks and move mine. Yeah. I'm going to just try to make sure that everyone has their stacks open. That's the best thing that I can do to make sure that the game progresses. Uh, I need to open up your stack, sir. Okay, your, both of your stacks are open to be able to go looking and to make plays. So take advantage of that. Don't take that as a sign of... aggression. Oh, gosh. What do I do with these players? What do I do with these players, man? How do I pull the strings? How do I do it? Okay, they're just going to keep fighting over that until hopefully the tensions just boil. Hmm. What are the downsides to me taking my 600 stack and just putting it on that 440? What are the downsides? Purple player still hasn't set yet. I need to let them set first. And then do something like that. And they're still just going to attack each other? Dude, whatever. I think, I think that the noobs are just going to work themselves out on this one. And they are just going to fight over bonuses. When the sets, sets are going to be a thousand, and they're going to be fighting over the bonuses until they've just had it and one of them suicides the other one. Ay, 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 man. Okay. Um, true pain. True pain and agony for sure. That much is certain. True pain. Oh, now I leave their 635 stack. Nowhere to go. Or dude, okay, man. Okay. You got it. That's yours. That is your bonus. Oh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow.
Yeah, you're going to beef up that cap. Make it a 500. Oh, really defensive for the long haul. This territory, I need to see if Bulgaria can hit that. Maybe you are just a single territory card block. Maybe you are. Yeah, maybe you are. You're going to get a card here, though. I need, I need to do it when you have a set on three. I need to see... And then do it then. Okay, so let's see. Let's do that. And then let's just have a 900 stack ready for action and a 1000 stack ready for action. And, oh uh, yeah, it does. Dang it. That's not what I wanted to see. Uh, that's not what I wanted to see, guys. Bring that 16 out. And just see... If the purple player wants to smack that 16, that'd be kind of funny. I think that my priority now is not being aggressive to the orange player ever again. Yep, you can have every bonus. Every bonus that your heart desires, you can have. This would, guys, this would be our longest win ever. Which is awesome. I'm down to get one of these under my belt. A really long game. And the game where we hit master is a good one for it to happen. So I am all in right now on this game. Yep, they're still just hitting each other. You know, you gotta think that eventually they hit each other over and over and over again. One of them just, you know, ends the game. That's where my head's at right now. I don't know a better way to play it. If the players would work with me more, or if I sensed a little bit more logic in the gameplay, I would have, I'd be doing this differently. But, alas, that is not the case. Um... Goodness gracious. I'm just going to set that right there. Orange still has a way around. Look, you don't even have to hit a three. You can hit a one. Just go looking. Go, go do something other than worry about the bonuses. Wow, they are really, really worried about those bonuses. Wow. I'm really shocked by that. Man, well, this is all part of it, you know, playing to your opponents you know, expectations and skill level, if that is how they are going to determine who they aggress against, I'm going to let it happen. You know what I mean? Goodness. I got a 280. 
Where do you put that 280 on my 16? Gosh, how does this one end, guys? I don't know. I do not know. The next time one of them hits the other's cap, I am just going to help Orange. You know what I mean? And then I think that's how we... That's how we progress that. I need to move this out somewhere more meaningful without being too aggressive. A place on the board where I can do a lot and not scare anyone. If somebody comes looking, they'll open up that big stack. Okay, sets from now on, I'm going to go ahead and put on our 1,000 cap over there. But for the orange player to make a move on the purple player or vice versa, they have to open up that big stack, so. That is my thought process there with leaving that there. And then I'll find an alternate place to get cards. Hmm. Or maybe I just need to bring that stack over and just put it all on my cap. Gosh, they're just going ham on each other down there in uh, Africa and this whole area. Insane. Well, orange seems to be coming out on top for the fractional amount of troops that they're getting. And then you got to break my bonus too now. This is so weird. Okay, maybe the orange player will see that, and then they will signal that it's time to knock out the purple player. From the left side of the board. Okay, do you do something now, orange? You do not. I'm happy to card trade with orange up there. Maybe that's what we do. Okay, well that's the last time I ever try to worry about holding that. Ay, ay, ay. Ugh, why would you not just put troops on your one and trade with me right there? Instead, you want to go to the left with your ten? Okay. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, what is this game, folks? What is this game? This one's turning into an interesting one, man. If we, if this ends up on YouTube, it ends up being a banger, but wow. I mean, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh man, oh man, I'm starting with 14, you're starting with 17, orange starting with 34, yes, orange got, has all this down here. And they're welcome to have all that, that's fine. I feel like I feel like the orange player has no concept of like trading zones. Like they don't understand. They just see every attack as like bad against them. Okay. Let's work. Dude, like I think that the purple player has concept of trading zones. So maybe I just start trading with the purple player and just let the orange player eventually just take everything that they want. That's what we do here, folks, I think. We let the orange player take everything that they want and then they'll be like, okay, the blue player, let us do that. I'm going to go after the purple player. I have a set and it's a 300 set. Yeah, okay, so we only trade with purple from now on. We only get a card off purple, and purple is only attacking into orange on these turns whenever they hit a lot, so whatever, dude. That is how we are going to make this happen, I think. Yeah, that's how we do that. Definitely. Put that there, that's where we're going to trade cards. Set, put the whole 300 on our big stack. I'm going to make orange think that I'm attacking into purple a lot. Going down and checking out purple, perhaps? Oh my goodness, do you do it? Oh, well played. Wow. Well played. Wow. Oh my goodness. You're a legend. You're a legend. Oh my goodness. Absolute legend. Oh my goodness. Okay, purple player is going to set. Maybe. I think I still chill for a little bit. I, th I still chill for a tiny little bit. I let the purple player get their stack out. And I need, to, I need to let the purple stack out, right? Yeah, see. Okay, you can go around though. You can go around. Yeah, you can go all the way around. Need to make sure that they have an opportunity to hit each other. So I'm going to clear out purple right here and give them an access point. Yeah, okay. So they're battling each other somewhere down there. That's a 70. Purple's going down and around. This is perfect. This is perfect. This is literally perfect. This is perfect. Neither one of them can kill each other yet. And then you're going to try to sit on that. Okay. Now, definitely what I do here is I let your stack out. Okay. Now the big stack should get out. Or actually, maybe that was the opportunity to 
set into or, or move this down to perhaps shape up for even an orange kill, maybe. Yeah, maybe that's a bit of a misplay right there. Maybe that's a bit of a misplay. Maybe that's a misplay. Does orange bot? That would be worst case scenario. Orange bots, that's really bad for us. Our next turn, we're going we're gonna to do some cleanup here. We're going to do some cleanup and we're going to move our stack out to a useful position if purple doesn't do anything. We're going we're gonna... to... Wait, is that a bot out? Okay, you go into purple and then you're going to move your stack. Where do you move your stack? Let's see. The action's not over yet. Wait, what was that? Okay, what does purple do with their 800? Purple, do something with that 800, my friend. Yes, put it on the 800. Okay. You're going to go straight into orange with that. And then I'm going to bring my 1,267 down to Yaviv. Because purple's going to remove orange right here, I'm imagining. Or what? What else, what else do you do there? Okay. You're gonna get orange out of that pocket for me. Okay. Okay, what? Okay, well that helps me. That helps me clear that out, so that's good. I think I go looking at orange's position here. Yeah, I go looking. So you clear that out, I go pop, pop, out, down, and around, and then I look. Yeah, that's what we do. Okay, so I make a kill. I need to move that 1267 down here. Okay, so orange is now really weak. Purple is now really weak. I can card block them both on my next turn, I think, if I'm careful. Orange is on five cards. Okay, I can work in a card block, but I need to clear out all this down here. I need to clear out all that down there, and then I can work in a card block. Because I can go pop, pop, set my 1267 over here, clear out all of that, and then set... Nah, I can't card block this right here, though. I need to take that cap, and that be my card block position. Otherwise, I can't really. I need to bring this out somewhere useful, like right here. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 315, and then you do what? You go looking? You've got a thousand cap. I, I pop, 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 knock purple out of everywhere, card block. I need purple to not have a set on four. And then I think I win. You get 320, and where do you put it? My big stack, my 1286, is locked.
I need to go all in on one of the players. You want to fortify that down? Yeah, you want to give me that as like a peace offering or something weird. Three hundo. Okay. I take, 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 take. Completely knock you out of there. I need to completely knock you out of here. Put the rest right there. Okay, that makes us a little bit more even, and now I'm holding the whole board. You have 800, orange has 1,000. That makes us a little bit more fair. Right? I should have moved that 55 out. And you're going to move that out. Okay. Okay, what does purple do here? You're going to make that a 500. This is a winning position for us. We still have the biggest cap. You need to go all around the board and you're going to make yourself weak every time you do it. Every single... I, I card block now, I think. I think I'm going to card block the purple player. Go ahead, you're going to make yourself very weak. You're going to make yourself very weak. Okay, so you have a 600 cap, and that's all you have, really. How much do you fortify back? 300? I do have a set. I'm just going to, I'm just going to go right back and then card block, I think. Yeah. I set... Zero percent chance. Orange wants to go looking, or Orange is just going to turtle up instead. Orange is an easy card block down here. I send a big stack down, and then I put another right there. Hold a two-point position, outproduce. Yeah. Yeah.
Nice, we get it under 200. I'm kind of doing the orange players bidding right now, which is annoying. Orange player is now just staying out of the drama, it seems. I'm trying to push this game along, folks. I'm trying. I am trying. You just give up that cap. Okay, so purple player realizes that my bonuses are how I was able to be hitting them like that, so... They remove that as an option, and now they'll have a set. Okay. Then you give up the cap. I don't have a- I do not have that as an option. You are gonna trade. I think this is my best opportunity. Back into that. Yeah. Okay. I have the purple player limited to a single position on the board. Okay, they have a guaranteed trade. Gonna be for a lot. I don't have a trade. Okay, orange player. Makes a move. Oh my god. I need you to help me, orange player. I need you to help me. Let's see. Do we see a bot here? Okay, you got three hundo. You're just gonna go all around the board. Okay, I think I can work in a card block now. Yeah, I work in a card block now. You hit a cap, you would help me so much. You would help me so much if you would hit a cap. You would help me so much. Oh my goodness. Really? How much? How much? Really? Hmm, purple player's down to a single position. Do you just take the kill, Orange? Do you just take it?
Purple player figures leaving their cap is the best way to stay alive, but it's not. I'm going to trade before them. And uh, I don't have a set yet, but I will, if unless they have a set on three. Are you just going to go all the way around the board? Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so that's a GG. And I get the cards. And that did nothing to me. I didn't even feel that. Wow. Thank you for the cards. And for mobilizing my cap. Um, I am going to go through this. Oh, you had a kill guard back there. Interesting. Oh, you had a kill guard. Oh, great. It all makes sense. Oh, it all makes sense. Okay. So, Orange is about to punch me square in the mouth. So, this is now my most important capital. Wow, Orange really had a kill guard? That's actually insane. Do you sense the weakness of my other cap? I think you do. Great. Great. So purple had a cap down here. You stop and not realize that my cap- Oh my god, he doesn't realize that my cap is weak. Whoa. He's still afraid of the power of the mega cap. Okay, so now you attack into orange and that's going to help me tremendously. That is going to help me so much. Okay. Okay, so I set and then I card block. Set. Good dice here. Let's get some good dice here. Let's get some good dice here. Okay, we guarantee that we hold that position. The next time that 715 attacks up, I never open that cap again. Yeah, you gotta get rid of purple. You gotta get rid of purple. Okay. How do I work in the card block? You're giving purple cards. That's great for me. That's fantastic for me. Oh my gosh, that's so great for me. Purple's just not taking a card. Okay. I'm just going to make this a two hundo. So you need about 600 if you want to get a 100% roll on that. Just me losing troops. Oof, that's really enticing. I don't have a set.
Okay, Orange, if you take that, I can work in a card block. Oh, goodness, 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 goodness. Ooh. What was that? I think purple is just counting on me giving them second place, which is like essentially what would happen, I suppose. Okay. Orange is going to set and use it to kill purple, I think. Uh, oh, I needed to get a card. I'm an idiot. That was my card down there. Okay. So I need to get a card down here. Yes. Give me card options. Yes. Give me card options. Okay. 300. Where do you go with that? Okay. So your 300 is going to go into purple, it seems. And you're not going to get any cards off that, and that's just going to make you really weak. Okay. I do need to get a card, unfortunately. So I am going to hit that three. Because that's going to help me progress the game. So I now have two cards that I can work with now. Which is great. I have two cards that I can work with. I am going to make this a 100. That makes me a little nervous not having that at 100. Just in case, you never know, right? So I'm being very careful. Maybe I should have brought my stack over. I wasn't expecting that to be open in the moment. I was just like, what? Very weird. Okay, you get purple here, I suppose. Good game. Okay, God, thank you. Oh, okay, cool. Do I have a set on four? That would end the game. No set on four, but I have a way to get a card. So it's okay. No set on four, but it's okay because I get a card here. I need to go looking. Okay. Interesting. And then you have a set, and then I will have a set, and then we can try to make something happen. Okay, you're gonna go out. You're gonna try to hold that. You're gonna hold from there. I can card block that if you open me right here. You still give me cards. Over there. You're gonna go looking at that cap. The hundred, you don't have it in you. You don't. Oh, are you just gonna vacate all the caps? And just forfeit? Because now I only have to worry about one and you've left a pathway in through here. So I win now. I don't think that the I don't think that the orange player meant to do that. They're trying to break all my bonuses, but they don't realize that they just gave me the win because they open up my cap and they can't forfeit back both. So they give me they leave me with one target, basically. Okay, yeah. 
There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, that was a long one. Oh my goodness gracious. That was quite a crazy one. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And what is our longest risk game ever? We go over two hours. Oh, and we get it done. That was crazy. I'm not expecting these players to be super high ranked. We'll see. I've been surprised before. Um, we need to see, do we get master? Do we get master? Okay, wow, the orange player was a master. I was not expecting that. Okay, and purple. Dude, what? Okay, I, I don't know what was going on there. Maybe they're playing some 4D chess and maybe I have something to learn from them. Do we hit master? No, we're 200 points away. Oh, you guys, hey, 200 points away. Our next game is basically guaranteed to be master. Oh, dude, this is this was fun, man. A two hour and a, like a two hour, 20 minute video, essentially with what would be the longest video on our channel and our longest win on the channel right on the cusp of master. That was a ton of fun. I will see you guys next time.